This video is an introduction to using variables and expressions in SheetCam. Most of the input boxes in SheetCam allow you to enter mathematical expressions as well as numbers. For instance, I want to cut 3 30 seconds of an inch deep, but I can't remember the decimal equivalent, so I can just enter 3 30 seconds and it does the conversion for me. It will also convert units, so for instance if I want to cut 5 millimetres deep, I just enter 5 millimetres and it immediately does the conversion for me. You need to be a little careful when converting units. For instance, here I've switched to millimetres and I want to enter 3 30 seconds of an inch. If I just typed in 3 30 seconds like that, it would actually see that as 3 divided by 32 inches, which is of course the wrong answer. To get around the problem, you put the 3 30 seconds in brackets, so we now have 3 30 seconds of an inch, which then gives the correct 2.38 millimetres. To extend this functionality, we can also use variables. It is quite common for sheet materials to vary in thickness. For complex jobs it can get quite tedious changing all of your operations every time the thickness changes. Instead of doing this we can use a predefined variable called ver material thickness. So if you enter a cut depth of material thickness it automatically sets the depth to whatever th thickness your material is. So if we go to job options and change the thickness to 12 then the cut depth is automatically changed to 12 millimetres. If you want to cut all the way through the material plus a small amount, we can of course just add a small amount to the thickness. So it will now cut the thickness of the material plus half a millimetre. We can view the available variables by going to View Variable Monitor. These first three are internal variables. They are defined within SheetCam, Material Thickness and Rapid Clearance. The clamp clearance height is not currently used, so we can ignore that one. Next we have the uh, parameters of the first operation, so it's contour operation and all of those values. If we open this up a bit we can see the full names. We can use those names in another operation, so for instance I could create a pocket operation and then set its feed rate to always be the same as the first operation's feed rate. So if we look at the po pocket operation's feed rate is 100, so if I edit the first operation and set its feed rate to 500, the pocket operations feed rate changes as well. Entering a log equation every time we want to cut all the way through the material can get quite tedious, so we can create our own variables. So we go to Options, Application Options, Variables, we'll create a new variable called through. We set its units to linear, there's various other units we can use, but in this case it'll be linear. And set the variable to material thickness plus 0.5. So we can go into operation and for the cut depth we can now just enter through. And you can see it cuts all the way through plus 0.5 millimetres. You can create as many variables as you want, but you do need to be careful to make sure a variable doesn't refer to itself. For instance, if I, for instance, if I create a variable called 1, and set it to a value of 1 plus 1, we now have a loop because 1 is referring back to itself. And if you look in the variable monitor you can see it's counting up because it's sheet cam is not sure what to do with this value. That example was a very obvious one, but this is slightly less obvious what is happening. We have three variables but they all refer to each other, so you still end up with this loop and as you can see all three variables are counting up. Any time you see your values continually counting, you, f you have a loop somewhere. To delete variables, just simply select the variable and press delete key. You can also rename them by clicking on the name, click again to select it and enter a new name. For post developers, you can access all of these variables through the var table. So for instance here I'm showing a message box that displays the through variable in the var table. So if we run the post processor, there it shows through equals 12.5. One trick if you're not sure what variables are available in the post is to set a breakpoint and then run the post processor. This window shows all of the available variables within the post. So you've got all of the globals, the, no the normal, um, and x, and y, etc. And also the var table with all of its variables. 
and then we can just click continue to continue running the post. And that concludes this introduction to expressions and variables.